What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the La Liga Player of the Month card to review today and it is going to be the man himself, Lionel Messi. Now this card right here boys is looking like a really, really nice card. But he is going for an extreme amount of coins, 1.8 million coins to put into a player that you will never get your coins back. So hopefully it's going to be worth it. He is a five foot seven player with medium low work rates, four star skill moves and a four star weak foot. I'm still waiting to this day to them just come out of nowhere and give Lionel Messi five star skill moves. Hopefully, hopefully they'll actually end up doing it this year because I feel like he would be like a very, very good card for some odd reason. Either way, when it comes down to the chem style, the Hawk chem style is the chem style I have gone for. Now the other two chem styles that you can go for is the Hunter chem style and the basic chem style. The basic chem style is very good. It gives him that sprint speed. It gives him that plus five shot power. It gives him that plus five agility, making it 99. But for me personally, I feel like the Hawk chem style is going to be a little bit better than both of those other chem styles because of that shot power. The Hunter chem style giving him plus five. The basic chem style giving him plus five. Well, the Hawk chem style giving him plus nine. So he's going to have that 99 shot power with the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait. Come on. You already know it's going to be very, very overpowered. So he has got 99 acceleration with the 90 sprint speed. So an insanely fast player. He's got 99 attacking positioning, 99 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 92 volleys with the 83 penalties as well. Now his passing ability simply looks incredible. He's got 99 vision, 89 crossing, 98 freak accuracy, 95 short passing, 95 long passing with the 97 curve. And if we are looking at the dribbling stats, you already know it's going to be insane. Lionel Messi dribbling. They just combine together. They really do. He's got 94 agility, 98 balance, 97 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling with a 99 composure. And then we head over to the physicals, which don't look great. Let's just say that. He's got 83 jumping with 76 heading accuracy, which is, isn't too bad, but he's a five foot seven player. He's not going to be winning headers. It's simple as that. And when it comes down to his stamina, 1.8 mil for a player that has 78 stamina, knowing that his best position is the cam position, that right there could be a big, big issue. Now, he has got 79 strength to his game with the 57 aggression as well. Now, when it comes down to links, we have got Joan Felix. We got Lanes, I believe is how you pronounce him. And we also got Furlan Mendy. And as you clearly, clearly can see, we are not on our main account. We are on our viewers account and I had to do a viewers account because boys, I could not afford this card on my account. 1.8 million coins for a single player was just simply, simply too much. So yeah, I had to obviously borrow a viewers account. It is what it is at the end of the day. It happens, you know, it happens time to time. I did it when it came down to the team of the year cards as well. But I will be playing Lionel Messi in a 4-2-3-1 in that cam position and he will be playing in that position for pretty much the whole review. But I will move him up to the striker position just just to see if we can get a few more goals. But let's get into these games. Look at him, he's sitting there. You know what we're gonna try to do. Try to get into the inside, go for that finesse shot. Oh my God, if that went in, nine minutes in and he's having shots like that. Okay, I honestly thought it was gonna go in because of the keeper animation. Well played, I need to thread that pass. That's a really good pass. That's literally spot on. El Sharari, can you finish it? He's going to move the keeper and we are going to get the open goal. But what a pass by Messi. Nice ball roll. Give it to Messi right there. That's a really good run. I'm just going to go for that finesse shot and it should be a goal. And we are going to get a beauty of a goal. Great movement, by the way. Like he realized where that open space was and he went straight into it. And you know how it is. Messi, finesse shot is beautiful. Messi on the ball. Little ball roll. R1 dribbling. Oh my god. Look at this. And that's a good pass as well. Can I get it back to him? Nah, he's going to be aggressive. Look how aggressive he is, by the way. Like, he's making those runs like there's no tomorrow. But, boys, the dribbling ability, you already know how it is. When it comes down to Lionel Messi, the left stick dribbling, the R1 dribbling, it's so nice. Double way through the middle. Well played. Give it to Lionel. Ball roll. He's not controlling him, so I'm going to take my time and just go for the finesse shot, and we are going to score the goal. This is the thing with Messi, okay? Because he has the finesse shot trait, and because he has that high long shots, that high shot power, these kind of shots are going to go in, and they are absolutely ridiculous because they are very, very hard to actually block. You know, Messi? Oh my god, I'm surprised I didn't get intercepted. That's beautiful. 
He has no idea. I can already tell. I can already tell. No, I tried to get through that little, little gap. And if I did, it's a goal, boys. Give it to Messi. Come on. Keep going. Oh, my God. Look at that pace. No, we're just going to get caught up by Smalling. I should have gone a bit more further down, to be fair. But, boys, he is a fast, fast, fast player. Nice little touch. Give it to Messi. Back onto that right foot. I'm going to go for that finesse shot with the right foot. And it's going to smash the crossbar. Oh, my. If that went in, especially with his right foot as well. Yeah, that would have been crazy. Let's just say that. That's your Rory. Give it to Messi. Going to go for that finesse shot. Is it going to go in? His finesse shots are disgusting. Oh, my God. It just flies in. It literally goes into the corner every single time. Felix. Good pass. Into the middle. Right here. Well played. Get that fake shot going. I low-key want to go for that shot, but I'm going to take it calm and go for that left foot to finish because I felt like because the open space was on the right, the opponent was going to think I was going to go right. So I just cut onto that left foot and what a finish. The keeper didn't even bother diving. He knew he wasn't going to save it. Felix, over to Messi. I played. We're going to play that over to a through ball. That is going to be a perfect pass. Oh my God, look how perfect that is. Pass it to him on the edge. No, I thought Messi was just going to kind of sit back a little bit there, which he did, but he didn't do it enough, I feel like, there. Nice little pass there. Cancel that. Oh, my God. No. Power shot as well. No, Smalling. Why do you have to block that? That was beautiful. He literally, literally put him onto the floor. Come on. Nice little pass there. Good Ronaldo chop as well. I'm going to go for that overtop through ball. Look how perfect that is, man. And that's something you're going to love for Messi. The fact that he can literally switch the ball like that with either foot. Give it to Messi. Cut onto the right foot. Oh, one dribble. Oh, my God. No pen. Oh, my God, man. He's dribbling. He's too good, boys. It's way, way too good. But we are going to take the penalty with him. And hopefully, hopefully we can score a, score a goal with him. Come on. Going to try to aim at top ins. Keep in mind, by the way, this is on PS4. Boys, I'm literally holding it still. And look how bad it is. Now, I'm just going to go bottom bins. I'm done. Like, there's no way... Oh my god, that was literally side netting. He was not going to save that. But yeah, on this controller, I can literally not aim penalties, free kicks, or anything like that. Like, the thing just goes like this for some odd reason. When I'm, like, holding it still, I think it's the analog, how it's, like, I think it's broken or something. But, boys, I have no idea. But either way, we do score the penalty, which is always a great sight to see. Messi, that's a nice little touch. Should I send him on a run? Let's see if I can send him on a run and try to get him in behind. Going to play that wide ball. He's going to use his strength. Oh, my God. He actually got that. That was good. Oh, that could have been low-key a penalty again, boys. It low-key could have been. But do you see his strength there? That is really impressive. I would have thought he would have got bodied off the ball easily. But he was really fighting. Come on. Going to angle. Going to go for it, boys. Going to go for it. Oh, my God. Do you see how far that was? If that goes in, that's ridiculous. It honestly is. If that goes in, wow. Just wow. Because the fact they even hit crossbar is quite impressive. Messi. It's a good pass to Felix. He should be running in behind. There you go. Play that ball now. That's perfect. Going to fake shot around him. Ball roll. Take my time. Look at this. We're mocking it, boys. We're mocking it. No, can I get it? Nah, we did it too much. We did too much. I should have just probably just gone for a first time shot, to be fair. Like, I didn't even have to ball roll it, but I, want, I need to enjoy that dribbling. I really do. Like, it's so, so nice. And the skip players is literally just perfect. It's a nice little pass there. Give it back to him. Go forward. Oh, when dribbling. Oh, that's beautiful. Just double weigh it. Just go for the sweat. No, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. That's what happens when you're when you're enjoying yourself too much. You don't take those opportunities serious and you end up screwing up. But do you see what this man can do? Just by left stick dribbling. Just by R1 dribbling. It's ridiculous. So it is time to review him. I'm not sure how many games we ended up playing and I'm not sure how many goals we ended up getting. But boys, this card was incredible. He really was. His dribbling ability, oh my God. Like I, I remember giving his team of the year version an 11 out of 10. Literally breaking the scale. So you best believe I'm going to give his dribbling a 10 out of 10. But yeah, really, really nice card. Now, do I believe he is worth the 1.8 million coins? I don't. The reason I say I don't is simply because you can get Mbappe and Neymar 
for the same price, you can get a player of the month for Lionel Messi. Now, if you are a Messi fan, go ahead and do them. Why not? Go ahead and do them. No one's going to stop you. Let's all be fair. But for me personally, I don't believe it's worth it because you can get a Neymar and Mbappe for the same price. And he's also a player that his main position is the camp position. And he only has got 78 stamina, which means he won't be lasting for the whole 90 minutes. And you are going to have to get this guy a super sub. So it's going to be a very tough time to spend 1.8 mil on this card. But if you want to go ahead and do it and you are a Messi fan, go ahead and do it. It's simple as that, boys. But for me personally, I just don't believe he is worth it. But let's get into the ratings. Pace wise, I am going to give his pace, I would say, I'll probably say like a 9.2 out of 10. He is a very, very fast player. It's just he's not on that insane kind of level. Now, his shooting ability, I mean... It was really good. Without a doubt, it was really, really good. But there were some opportunities that he ended up missing, which was a little bit disappointing, you know? So for shooting, I am going to give him... I'll probably say like a 9.6 out of 10. I'm going to be honest. A 9.6. He is literally near there. Near the 10 out of 10, but just not on that level. Because I have seen better shooters than Lionel Messi. I must admit, I really have. So I can't give him that 10 out of 10. But it's near enough. 9.6 out of 10. Passing ability, come on now. 10 out of 10. Simple as that, boys. He, you have to give him a 10 out of 10 for passing. He is incredible at just switching the play with both feet. And it lands perfectly onto the player every single time. Dribbling ability, as I said, 10 out of 10. It's simple as that, boys. He's an amazing dribbler. He really is. He's one of those players that is going to be very hard to tackle. And he's one of those players that you're probably going to end up getting a lot of penalties with. Because you get this guy inside your opponent's box. They're going to start panicking, especially with all the spins you're going to do. Oh, it's game over. It really is. Physicals. Hmm. You have to give it, you know, not that great of a rating. You really do. Because the strength, I must admit, was okay. It was fighting for the ball, but the stamina just wasn't it. So for physicals, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8 out of 10. But an overall rating out of 10, he's still a very, very, very nice card. So I am going to give him... I would say like a 9.4, a 9.4 out of 10. I have seen better, 100%. He is an insanely good card. I just don't believe he is worth it, especially for 1.8 million coins. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.